Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're going to talk about conditionals, that is, if statements and which statements. These are essential parts of programming, especially when we want to tell the computer to do things that are not a linear sequence of commands. Before, we, we told the computer do this and then do this and then do that. Um, so now we need to extend this into how to deal with conditions. So we want to write statements uh, of the form if something is true then do this otherwise do something else. So this is the first kind of command in programming, which is a sort of branching code, having if statements and making the computer follow along different branches depending on what the conditions are. A typical example is if you have two numbers and you want to compute the maximum. You want to compare them and see if you can figure out which one is larger. Of course, this is a bit of an artificial example because without counting anything, I can just say max and let's say I want the maximum of two numbers, three and four, and this is already coded up in Mathematica and Mathematica will give me four. Because this uh, function is already known to Mathematica. But of course, that's not the point here. Uh, the point is that you actually uh, want to write the function yourself that will do something like this. So I want to program a function that is called uh, a maximum and I don't want to overwrite the mathematical function. Uh, so let's call it uh, my max. So let me write it in the form of a comment here. My max returns the maximum of x and y. So how do we do this? Well, you can use an if statement. If I type question mark and then if, as always, I can look at the Mathematica document documentation. Uh, and the syntax is if a condition uh, then evaluates something as true otherwise this evaluates to something else if the condition is true is false so let me say again if the condition is true then this evaluates to t and if the condition is false it evaluates to f um, so, in this case, I can define my max as a function of x and y to be if, and then if x is greater than y, then obviously the maximum is x. Otherwise, if x is not greater than y, then you can return y as the minimum. Uh, in the equal case, if x is equal to y, you can use either x and y, and um, the result would be correct either way. So let's try this. We evaluated this. And let's try 3 and 4. and this did not evaluate. And the reason is that y has taken a value from the previous session. So let me type y equals dot to clear the value of y and evaluate this again. And now I get the correct result. That the maximum of three and four is four. Let's consider another example uh, let's say I want the absolute value of some number. 
I can call this my apps of X and you can use if X is negative then the absolute value is minus X otherwise the absolute value is equal to X and then I can try this with the number five or the number minus five and in either case uh, I get the absolute value um, and the mathematical default function for that is apps so the absolute value of minus 10 is 10 now in certain cases we may need nested if statements that means an if statement inside an if statement um, so for example let's suppose I want to calculate the maximum of three numbers uh, a b and c then I need to consider all possibilities I need to compare a to b and that result to c and so on so we could do this the hard way which would be let's compare a and b and then after that we can compare a to c um, and I'm noticing something strange here that a has a different color so a already has a value uh, from a previous session so I'm going to say a equals dot to clear it okay so a is blue now so I cleared its value okay so here I'm comparing a to b and then a to c so if both of these statements are true if a is greater than b and greater than c then a has to be the maximum um, otherwise inside this if statement if a is greater than c is not true so if a is not greater than c then c is the maximum inside this statement and then that's the first argument of the if statement right the syntax is if condition and then expression and then if that condition is true we have the first expression and if not we have the second expression so let me type this as a comment here so if condition and then if the condition is true that evaluates to the first expression and if it's false uh, let's call that expression t and if the condition is false then it evaluates the f expression uh, so that's the syntax um, so if a is greater than b we evaluate this otherwise um, if a is not greater than b then it means either b or c are the maximum so then I have to compare b and c so I compare b and c here so if b is greater than c then b is the maximum otherwise c is the maximum okay so uh, this is an example of nested if statements uh, of course that's a bit of a headache to calculate uh, so let's try and pass three numbers to it and I get the correct result that 7 is the maximum of 4, 7 and 2 now uh, another way to calculate this uh, would be to use modular programming so instead of taking all these cases I could simply apply this function 
um, because I have already defined the maximum of two numbers, I can easily define the maximum of three numbers by saying my max of A, B and C is my max of my max of A and B and then compare that to C so I can apply this function of two arguments A and B find first find the maximum of A and B and then find the maximum of that and and C um, of course Mathematica went uh, and calculated an nested if statement when I did that um, and again I can try this to see if I get the right result and I get the right result um, another alternative to the if statement is the which statement so we can find more about it on the Mathematica documentation by typing question mark and then which and you can look at the syntax here so that this syntax is test one value one test two value two and so on uh, so for example let's suppose i want to define again the absolute value of x then i can use delayed equals and then which and then the first test is if x is lower than zero then the result should be minus x and the other case would be x greater than zero and then the result should be x so if x is negative the absolute value is minus x and if x is positive the absolute value is equal to x and i can test this and that gives the right result that we would expect. We could also add a third argument here. Uh, so if neither of those first two cases or tests is true, then we can add the last argument true, which would happen if x equals zero, for example. Uh, and then in that case we can specify what happens in that case and in this case the absolute value would be zero if x equals zero so um, again we, we can test this absolute of minus nine is nine absolute of nine is nine absolute of zero is zero that was the third case I can also define the maximum of two numbers as I did before but let's do it using a which statement now just for the sake of comparison uh, so let's call it max with a little m so that it's not confused with a capital M by Mathematica um, so we can say which and say the first test is if a is greater than b then the maximum is a and the other case is if a is lower or equal to b and then the maximum will be b so i can evaluate this and use two inputs and the maximum of four and six is six as one would expect and finally let's do something slightly more complicated let's compute the maximum of three numbers uh, by using which statements again we could do it using modular programming as we did here uh, but for the sake of demonstrating which statements uh let's type up all these cases so we want 
the maximum of three numbers A, B, and C using which statement. So the first test would be if A is greater than, than B and a double ampersand is the end statement. So if A is greater than B and A is greater than C, then A is the maximum. The second test, if B is greater than A and B greater than C, then B is the maximum. And the third case, or the third test, if C is greater than A and C is greater than B, then C must be the maximum. Okay, so this takes three cases, one, two, three cases, and in each of those cases you have a different answer. So let's give it three arguments and the maximum of 371 is 7. And this is how we use if and which statements in Mathematica.